At Bath Ironworks in Maine, a major shipyard with a union that represents over 4,000 out of 6,500 workers, recently was approved to build 12 more Navy Aegis destroyers. Bath Ironworks, or BIW, is owned by General Dynamics, one of the world's largest weapons companies. Phoebe Novakovic is the CEO and made over $21 million in 2022. Why does the U.S. military need 12 more destroyers? And where will they be going? Welcome to the Global Network. Please support us by clicking the like button and subscribing to our social media accounts to stay up to date with our content. If you want to go further, consider joining our organization by visiting our website, spaceforpeace.org. The destroyers being built at BIW will be equipped with hypersonic missiles, once fully developed, and are part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, a program developed to provide a shield against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. The entire program is part of the U.S. National Missile Defense Strategy, as well as the NATO Missile Defense System. These are key elements in the Pentagon's first strike attack program, mainly aimed at China and Russia, a dangerous game played by the leadership of the U.S. Armed Forces and political leaders. The U.S. Space Force runs an annual computer simulation war game where they practice the first strike attack, providing different options for the missile defense system. In 2008, the Pentagon practiced shooting down one of its own U.S. satellites, about the size of a school bus. Three Aegis warships were used in this exercise, the Lake Erie CG-70, Russell DDG-59, and Decatur DDG-73. These warships used a SM-3 missile, which intercepted the satellite at an altitude higher than 150 miles and a closing speed greater than 22,000 miles per hour. This exercise proved the Aegis destroyers could be used as anti-satellite weapons, or ASAT. Aegis destroyers are also built to be used as offensive weapons. Another computer simulation war game used nuclear-capable Tomahawk cruise missiles as a first strike attack against China and Russia aimed at their nuclear capabilities. These simulations show that the Aegis warships have the capability to be used as both an offensive and defensive weapon. With these sword and shield capabilities, the Pentagon and its weapons companies are building them at an astonishing rate, especially as tensions between the US, China, and Russia are escalating. Aegis destroyers that are already in use are currently operating in the Mediterranean, Black, Baltic, Barents, and Bering Seas, and many of them are surrounding Russia. These same offensive warships are also deployed in the Sea of Japan, the Yellow Sea, East China Sea, and the South China Sea in the Pacific surrounding China. It's not just the Pentagon who are building these nuclear and ASAT capable warships. They are being built by Japan, Spain, Norway, South Korea, Australia, and soon in Canada, all aimed at Russia and China. As these warships cover the globe with more to be built, what would happen if Russia and China began surrounding the North American continent with similar warships with first strike capabilities? The global network against weapons and nuclear power in space has been fighting against U.S. wars of aggression with a particular focus on space since 1992. Every October, the global network calls for global actions to support Keep Space for Peace Week. In 1999, the United Nations General Assembly declared that October 4th through 10th every year would be designated as, quote, World Space Week to celebrate the contributions of space, science, and technology to the betterment of the human condition. We ask people to recognize this as a time to keep space for peace. Each year, the Global Network provides a poster for use to highlight the week of actions and posts a list of the actions organized by our members. We ask all activists and organizations to join us 
this year during the week of October 7th through 14th to organize meetings, panels, and other events to protest the militarization of space and to keep space for peace. Visit our website to learn more at spaceforpeace.org.